is cruel. The world is wicked. It's I alone whom you can trust in this whole city. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hero-villain duets. I know I promised I'd do this, but just take it easy on me. I'm kind of new to the whole performing thing. Five, six, seven, eight. For this list, we'll be looking at songs from movies and TV that prominently feature both a protagonist and an antagonist. Although a duet typically has only two performers, we'll be counting songs where additional singers chime in, as long as the focus is on the hero-villain pair. Which of these numbers is musical magic? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Aaron Burr, Sir, Hamilton This hugely popular musical's second number introduces us to multiple characters. However, it largely centers on Alexander Hamilton meeting the story's main antagonist, Aaron Burr. Pardon me, are you Aaron Burr, sir? That depends who's asking. Oh, well, sure. Sir, I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm at your service, sir. I have been looking for you. I'm getting nervous. The pair start off on pretty good terms. In fact, Hamilton even asks Burr for advice. However, history buffs and Hamilton fans know that the pair's relationship goes seriously downhill from there. It's entertaining to see the pair trading fast-paced lines while maintaining the song's pleasing rhyme scheme. While we're talking, let me offer you some free advice. Talk less. What? Smile more. Huh. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. Plus, the duet demonstrates the production's unique blend of rapping, singing, and beatboxing. The way parts of this great song echo later on in the musical further cement its significance. Now how are you going to get your debt plan through? I guess I'm going to finally have to listen to you. Really? Talk less. <laughs> Smile more. <laughs> Do whatever it takes to get my plan on the Congress floor. Number 9. Pretty Women Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street A visit to the barber shop has never been scarier than this. A sprinkling, perhaps, of French cologne, but first, sir, I think, a shave. The closest I ever came. During this dark narrative, we learn that Judge Turpin is a corrupt official who ruined the life of Benjamin Barker a.k.a. Sweeney Todd. The duo's musical encounter marks a huge moment of tension. Todd's desire for vengeance is handed to him on a silver platter when Turpin unwittingly visits for a shave. Patience, enjoy it. Revenge can't be taken in haste. if we weren't, you'll be commended, sir. My lord. But much to our hero's chagrin, the plan is interrupted at the last moment. The moment's loaded narrative and great composition make it incredibly memorable. All of the great music and clever lyrics come courtesy of the late, great Stephen Sondheim. They somehow can still remain there 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 Number 8. Nothing Left to Lose – Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure this animated series picks up after the events of the 2010 film Tangled. The now free Princess Rapunzel and her allies seek to uncover the mystery of the magical Black Rocks. During the course of her adventures, her former enemy Varian has already defected and rejoined her side. But the once good handmaiden Cassandra has taken a villainous turn. Path paved in black. I'm taking that road and I'm not looking back. Each twist and each turn, the straight where I'm yearning to go. After she captures Varian, he tries to reason and empathize with his captor. This prompts both the duo to sing through all of their conflicted emotions. Listen, please, you've lost your grip, and lost your mind. Hope's not lost, don't be so blind. Cut your losses, drop the eye with you. The resulting duet is as powerful as it is heartbreaking. Accompanied by epic visuals, this musical number is a must-see for fans of the franchise. Number 7. Belle, Beauty and the Beast 
This acclaimed tune accomplishes a lot in a short time. Not only does it sum up Belle's life and aspirations, but it also introduces the very hateable villain Gaston. Here in town there's only she, who is beautiful as me. So I'm making plans to woo and marry Belle. While she is bookish and reserved, he is completely vain and seeking an eligible bachelorette. The variety of quirky townspeople in this provincial French town also chime in on their relationship. There must be more than this provincial life. Just watch, I'm going to make Belle my wife. While it might feel like more of a group number than a strict duet, Belle and Gaston's lyrics steal the show. Their lack of connection musically and chemistry-wise makes for an extremely telling and clever commentary on how these characters will get along for the rest of the movie. Say you'll marry me. I'm very sorry, Gaston, but... but... I just don't deserve you! Whoa. Number 6. F.U.N. Song, SpongeBob SquarePants a season one episode of this beloved animated comedy series followed a growing friendship between SpongeBob and the nefarious Plankton. In the process, it gave us a truly unforgettable song about simply enjoying oneself. What's that? Fun is when you... Fun is... It's like... It's kind of... Sort of like a... What is fun? I... Let me spell it for you. After foiling the villain's attempt to steal a Krabby Patty, our hero shows sympathy and decides to spend time with his enemy. The protagonist uses a catchy tune to illustrate the concept of fun. At first, Plankton attempts to twist the central acronym to suit his dark tastes. Plankton! Those things aren't what fun is all about! However, the villain can't resist joining in on SpongeBob's celebration of all things sweet and innocent. We still love singing this song anywhere and anytime at all. F is for frolic through all the flowers. U is for ukulele. N is for nose picking, sharing common sun licking here with my best party. Number 5. La Llorona, Coco. After being unwittingly transported to the land of the dead, Miguel must locate a photo belonging to his great-great-grandfather Hector. Unfortunately, it ends up in the hands of the deceitful music legend Ernesto de la Cruz. Wait, you're related to Hector? The photo! Miguel's great-great-grandmother Imelda ends up snagging the photo back from him before accidentally ending up on his stage. While trying to avoid the villain, she's left with little choice but to sing with him in front of a crowd. Underneath their beautiful duet, there's a lot of tension and close calls. The high stakes lying beneath the seemingly innocent song make it one of the most memorable hero and villain clashes in Pixar's library. <laughs> Number 4. Out There, The Hunchback of Notre Dame this song notably consists of a sinister duet unofficially known as Stay In Here and the uplifting I Want section that follows. You are deformed. I am deformed. And you are ugly. And I am ugly. And these are crimes for which the world shows little pity. You do not comprehend. You are my one defender. The tune's progression sums up Quasimodo's conflicted position in the film. While he has long been taught to trust no one, he nonetheless has an optimistic and curious perspective on the world around him. At the same time, the number lets us in on the many ways that the nefarious Judge Claude Frollo manipulates Quasimodo. Out there they'll revile you as a monster. I am a monster. Out there they will hate and scorn and jeer. Only a monster. Why invite their calumny and consternation? Stay in here. Their duet is a fascinating study into their deeply troubling relationship. Although the lyrics for this great song get pretty grim, we're still left optimistic that Quasimodo will find brighter days. Out there, strolling by the sand, taste the morning out there, like ordinary men. Number 3. The Plagues, The Prince of Egypt 
While there is a chorus to the song, the singing talents of actor Ray Fiennes and recording artist Amic Byram completely tower over this clash. You who I call brother, how could you have come to hate me so? Is this what you wanted? The pair voice Ramesses and Moses, respectively. Although they grew up as adoptive royal brothers in ancient Egypt, they now find themselves clashing over the enslavement of the Hebrew people. When the pharaoh refuses to let the innocent people go, Moses reluctantly watches ten plagues befall his brother's kingdom. Want my home? All this pain and devastation, how it tortures me inside. All the innocent who suffer from your stubbornness and pride. As the duo presents their perspectives in song, their voices are constantly tinged with pain and regret. The lyrics manage to hit just as hard as the film's images. Unfortunately, the brothers are no closer to a happy resolution by the time the song concludes. But saith the Lord, I will not let let my people go. Number 2. The Confrontation, Les Miserables. This epic period musical centers on Jean Valjean, a man long imprisoned for merely stealing bread. While serving as mayor of a French town years later, he is shocked to encounter his old prison guard, Javert. I'm here at your command, with honor due to each, and justice in our hand, no man's beyond our reach. The lawman soon suspects the truth behind the mayor's identity. He dramatically appears as Valjean is grieving the loss of Fantine. Valjean, at last, we see each other plain. Monsieur le maire, you'll wear a different chain. With emotions running high, the confrontation begins. As the hero pleads for time to save Fantine's daughter, Javert reveals the depth of his duty. In mercy's name, three days are all I need. Then I'll return. I pledged my word. Then I'll return. You must think me mad. I've hunted you across the years. Their duet is a battle of strong wills and unshakable ideals. It's an epic representation of their complicated and contentious relationship. I am warning you, Jeff. And the price you had to pay. Every mouth is born before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The winner takes it all, Glee. The show's final episode features a touching tribute to Sue and Will's rivalry. The loser has to fall. The winner takes it all. Glee, community. A nefarious glee club instructor unlocks Abed's peppy side. Singing and dancing in unison, in 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 glee is the gift that we need. Glee! You Are the Music in Me reprise, High School Musical 2. Sharpay recruits Troy for a talent show performance with this energetic number. No, we belong. Remember You, Adventure Time. Marceline helps the Ice King explore his past self. This magic keeps me alive, but it's making me crazy. And I need to save you, but who's going to save me? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Love is an Open Door – Frozen Suffice it to say, Anna and Hans move pretty quickly. After the Arendelle princess meets the likable Prince Hans at her sister Elsa's coronation ball, they spend the evening dancing and talking. All my life has been a series of doors in my face. And then suddenly I bump into you. I was thinking the same thing. The whirlwind romance that unfolds over the course of the night is fully captured in this song. Besides being plain catchy, this song is so iconic because it totally obscures Hans's true nature for first time viewers. Say goodbye, Say goodbye to, to the pain of the past. We 
don't have to feel it anymore. Love is an open door. The tune appears to be an innocuous love confession the first time you hear it. But after learning about the sinister plan Hans has in store, it completely turns into a malicious hero-villain duet. In a film filled with memorable musical moments, this song stands out as an incredibly cool achievement. Life can be so much more with you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.